this is Adam Jensen. I'm a big fan of Crazy Horse Gaming. I didn't ask for this, but I'll check it out. Dear house crawling, Talion. He found his way up half of Narcos steps. One day he will run up them and be a brave ranger of Gondor. Or cobblesmith, or musician. Yes, he will protect Gondor with the flute. Hello everybody and welcome back to Crazy Horse Gaming and another Crazy Horse Play. Today we are playing Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor on the Xbox One. This game was released on Friday the 3rd of October. Over here, I want to say. Today is currently Sunday the 5th. I have a nice sunny day, sort of brilliant day to be playing video games. Uh, we figure we can bring you a quick Crazy Horse Play of this just to show you what the game is like. Uh, the main premises of the game, it's kind of like a Assassin's Creed meets Lord of the Rings. You play this dude here, who I forget his name, who's a ranger who got killed by a group of hawks and a group called the Black Hand, or a dude called the Black Hand. You end up teaming up with this Wraith dude. So you're kind of like a living dead sort of thing. Uh, trying to find out why you were killed, why your family were massacred, and basically going out to get revenge for it. Uh, let's straight into story mode. I'll show you there's some quite uh, unique features to this game that makes it a bit different from everything else. I got to say, got about 11, 12 hours into this game and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's uh, really impressive uh, kind of game and so far probably the most fun I've had on a current next-gen console, which is always good. A bit of the older loading times on the Xbox One. Uh, in case you're wondering, I picked the Xbox One version of the PlayStation because it was the cheapest I could find at £37 from Amazon, which is not bad at all. So, here we are, currently in the Wraith mode in this, which is the kind of spawn points where you end up where you die or at the start of the game or uh, whatnot. Uh, kind of like the sync points in... Assassin's Creed, they're scattered all over the place. If I just go to the map and show you. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I will try and avoid spoilers wherever I can, story mode wise. Uh, but just to warn you, there may be some unavoidable, maybe. Who knows? Uh, well, like I said, I'll try and avoid it where possible, but just in case. Spoiler alert. So, like I said, these are the uh, respawn points. If you notice all these different symbols here, have these uh, the gold ones, kind of like the story modes, main story modes. These are your side quests. So these, the Fell Beast, is a mission to help upgrade and improve your sword, turn it into like a legendary weapon as time goes on. I think it's ten of them in total. I've got I think four of them done. Again, you got one for your archery, bow and arrow. And this is to like help slaves and stuff, outcasts or slaves, you help free them, stuff improves things. These are jewels, or jewels as in your two people fighting, not jewels in precious gems, in which you take on some of the war chiefs or oust the war chiefs, which brings me into a rather unique feature of this game. It is like their war chief and captain system. So as you can see, there's quite a few of them dead at the moment. I've been a bit busy recently. But here we have currently the remaining several captains and war chiefs. Now if you notice down here, we have Amug the Choker, who's power level 5. Uh, now, I'll run into him in battle during the game. Uh, and fight him now if he beats me. He gets promotion as I die in respawn and will get moved up to one of these ranks here and his power will also increase making him stronger. I can also fight him and he could retreat and run away or I could just kill him as I've done with these. As the power as they get stronger and get promoted they also remember what happened to them last time they encountered you so they kind of change and adapt accordingly it's quite clever and they will also fight each other so these two I believe are currently in a a, a duel sort of thing clash between each other for power and supremacy. Now, if you die by one of these, like I said, they get promoted. Other people are brought in and fill up the ranks. So if I haven't died in a bit, so these haven't been filled up, so the ranks are a bit thinning. But as you notice, this dude here, 
which is location unknown. And these dudes, obviously I don't know who they are because I haven't found them yet. Or I haven't got any intel on them. You can gather intel on these people by capturing enemies and interrogating them. So, like this dude here. I've got his location. If I press Y, I can find his weaknesses. Oh, like these dudes, these are the big war chiefs guys, which are kind of like your main targets. They're all these weaknesses and strengths. So what to avoid and what not to avoid. And more importantly, round about where to find them. So it's kind of a cool, unique feature as time goes on. You run into them. It's like this dude here, the burning head. I did run into him a while back and forced him to retreat. So next time I see him, he'll remember that and comment on it. And be a bit more pissed off than he was last time round. Try and kill me a bit more. Uh, so that's the army, and that's uh, kind of like a unique system. They do remember uh, what happens. I believe it's called the Nemesis system. It's quite an interesting thing to go into. Here's the upgrade system we have. So we have the sword, the bow, and the dagger. Now you can see Sword Legend is free of ten. That's those side quests I've done so far. Uh, the bow four of ten, and the dagger five of ten. So these, these side quests, I'll show you them in a bit because they're not kind of story related, but they show you a good bit of the combat as well. Uh, this guide around the map, and for each one you do it, increases the reputation of your weapon. And if you notice here, we've got all these different traits. You pick up the traits, like here, uh, Betrayer level 6, Betrayer level 10, increase all weapon damage by 20% when hitting an enemy from behind. Strength from Courage level 14, recover 14% health on a flurry kill. So you get these different traits. Uh, you pick these up from killing those war captains and war chiefs we mentioned earlier. Uh, as well as completing the side quests for each particular one. Whenever you kill, you improve the Boar Legend on the side quests and get another trait. And killing the captains and war chiefs and such grants you, gives you one of these perks which you can choose to mix and match and adapt as you want so 55% chance to terrify more than two Uruks on a brutalized kill and so forth all these different things uh, yeah so that is your weapon system uh, for each of the weapons it upgrades gets more powerful gets different traits and stuff like that and fear and reputation also plays a part in this game as in you can scare people to the point where they'll run off uh, creates a reputation so people kind of know you better and we also have your own personal upgrade system which is based on a tier level so you can see this is tier one the traits i have is when your heat stri hit streak is charged press y and b to execute your target uh counted enemies y will be knocked backwards stunned or knocked down so these give you different traits third tier these are what i've unlocked so far you got uh, second tier sorry third tier fourth tier and as you can see until the next tier unlocks, I have to collect 254 power points. And my next ability point will be at 1014. So, not too far from either of them. As time goes on, you get your power and, um, and XP unlocks by obviously taking part in combat and uh, missions and such. Here we have an appendices, which basically... Just go through all the hidden items you find throughout the game, uh, the different people you encounter. There, you've got the different places which you've been to. Still got a few I haven't been to yet. Uh, artifacts you find, or visions, tutorials and hints. People, like I said, nature, artifacts. And this thing here, which is something you collect as you go along. So if I go to the map and show you, as you can see, this is where we collect intel to find uh, information on the war chiefs and captains. These are those, uh, that picture I just showed you, like the Fellowship of the Ring or whatever that was. you got hidden artifacts. These are like symbols you find, a bit like they, I forget what they were called. Pieces of Eden, I think they were in Assassin's Creed, I think. 
these are more hidden artifacts. And then you've got all the different side uh, quests and stuff. Now, we're pretty close to that intel, so let's go have a look. So I'll fast travel to that point. Something the uh, spawn point you collect also act as fast travel. You can also use the passage of time, which helps in power struggles where war captains uh, fight amongst each other to gain rank and position. If you allow them to do that, they increase in power making it more difficult for you to face them next time. Pretty much the same as what happens if you just let them kill you or they get away. Not sure if they increase in power if they get away, but if they kill you they definitely increase in power so next time you see them they're harder to kill. Right, let's go stealthily on these dudes. I'll try to. Right, let's get into combat. I'll try and leave that dude alive. Where I can, because I'm going to need the intel from him. So here we go, I've grabbed him. Interrogate him now, because of the level of strength I'm at. I can pretty much do this straight away to him. So, now I'm interrogating him through the whole the kind of like mind melding thing. We'll pick this dude because I don't know nothing about it. We have Rattlug Bloodlicker. And his weakness is vulnerable to combat finishers, vulnerable to stealth finishers, fear of Karagords, hate of Grogs, becomes enraged at the sight of them, summoner, calls nearby allies to help him, Rave Stun block, blocks your Rave Stun. Shoots multiple shots in rapid succession and is bloodthirsty, so health. And I just popped his head off. Uh, another thing I didn't mention, because there is so much to mention about this game, there are so many random things, is something that isn't showing up on the map. If you look at the screen on the bottom left, you'll see lots of coloured symbols. Uh, basically, this is where you get your health. Or one of the ways you can get out whenever you're damaged. So you collect plants and stuff which are located throughout the world. Also, if you notice up in the top left where it says Udden Foothills, it gives you a list of herbs. Underneath we have survival challenges. So I'm on the fifth one now where I've got to find four lots of blue milk and I found the two lots of is it Malos and hunting creatures. I've got to kill three Karagors. So these things change throughout the game. There's, uh, you can complete them all. They're not, or it's not like unlimited amounts. But whenever you complete certain survival or hunting challenges, you get uh, XP bonus, which is always good. Combat is quite similar to, I'd say, Assassin's Creed. Kind of crossed with uh, Batman. Although no, well, the combo system isn't really as big as it is in Batman. So. And it uh, doesn't feel as in depth as uh, Assassin's Creed. It's kind of got similarities to both. But uh, kind of not as in depth, a bit more streamlined maybe. Be sure hunting is near, so. And a new vendetta is now available. Ooh, vendetta. Avenge the death of Pyroblade by killing. I'll give that one a go. Uh, yeah, like I said, it kind of feels more streamlined and. I won't say not as polished because it's a fairly decent combat system. But not as in depth. And for that, we've just saved that dude there who's going to run off. Or has run off. Which gives us a bonus. So you can see it has kind of like the Assassin's Creed 
system of people get suspicious of you and investigate and then become really pissed off and attack when you get closer. Although to be fair the AI in this is Thank pretty you. dumb to be honest. Uh, not the cleverest thing but then again they are orcs and arcs are orcs and arcs are pretty stupid. Right, start vendor to mission. Avenge the death of Pyroblade by killing Push Grip the Torturer. The war plus 10 power, number of kills 1. So this is one of the captains uh, we mentioned earlier. I'm not sure if I bumped into this fellow before. We'll find him. So I can go into my eagle vis vision here. See eagle vision. It's uh, yeah. I suppose you could call it eagle vision. It's kind of rare vision, I guess. Uh, I can't see him, which enables you to see further and pick out your enemies and stuff like that. Such. Use rare foil to tag him. Oh. Uh, if I complete it within five minutes, I get a bonus, which is always good. How's if I look at the screen and do stuff like that? Because it's a lot more awkward uh, when you're recording to keep an eye on what's going off around you. I admit that. It's a lot more difficult. Those guys there that have got shields, pain in the ass. It means you can't just attack them directly like you've seen me do to previous enemies. You have to kind of get behind them and... I'm not going to find this dude, am I? And I've... Oh, I either get behind them. Stab them in the back. Or... Break the shields. Uh, which you can do when you unlock certain... What we need is a nice, thick fall. <sighs> Skills and tasks. Where is this fella? Give us a fork as thick as spider stew. And our enemies won't see us coming. This is the first time I've done a vendetta mission. Uh, I've done plenty of the other type missions. First time I've done a vendetta one, I think. I've never had to actually look for the guy I was after. Before they usually just appear right in front of me. So you can see I'm trying to be stealthy. Possible. Doesn't always work. Of course, I'm not the best at stealth. Where is this tool? I don't think I'm going to get the old five minutes bonus here. Ah, found him. So if I press the R button now. No, I haven't found him. It's a different one. Damn it! You're not the dude I'm after. I'm gonna leave you for now. That blacksmith will fix me weapons properly. Because he don't know how. Do the old Assassin's Creed hide in the, the bushes and we attract him over here. Wait, I smell something. A bit of an old stealthy kill. See that dude's become a bit curious. That guy in green. I guess he's some devilish freed. Gonna have a look. But they're not being too clever. Oh, we're getting a bit of attention from them. Yeah, we haven't got a cho chance in that of uh, finding this guy before. Time's over, but not to worry. Little spiders. All over the place. It's quite a cool looking world. Uh, not a bad looking game. In my opinion. Uh, like I said, the most fun I've had on next gen consoles yet. Which is surprising because I'm not big on the Lord of the Rings games. I mean, I've got a few of them, but I haven't really played them that much. And but I did like the look of this one, to the point where I pretty much avoided any news I could regarding it. I haven't read any reviews or anything like that. Does anyone be influenced by them 
or influence my review before I get it up. So I will be doing a review of this for the site once I've finished the game. It shouldn't be that long. I hope. I can't see this being the longest game in the world. Oh no! I'm leaving the mission area. Once we're done digging, what will this be? A road? A new foundation? It's got to be around somewhere. I'm assuming I don't fail if I don't get it within the five minutes, but... Weird, because I can usually see... <sighs> yes, I know. That's what I'm doing. Tutorial now, I'm halfway through the Vendetta mission, you tool. While we're here, we'll use the Wraith Boar thing, just to show you another trick you can do. Boom! Detonate the uh, the bonfire. Oh! See them guys? Right. Well, I'll pick a fight with these guys. See what I mean by them being a bit simple? Bit of a dumb AI there, didn't notice the old stealth kills. And this dude's beating a wall of some reason. But that's one patrol out of the way. So, yeah, your stealth kills can be pretty simple at times. With them not being the cleverest of AI. Or whether that's meant to be like that, or whether it's just all so naturally dumb, I don't know. Either way, I still haven't found this push trip the torturer. But we'll find him. Ta ha ha! Is that him? Push Found him. So he has a fear of ghouls, damage by combat finishers, damage by ranged attacks. Hits Karagos invulnerable to stuff, so I can't sneak up on him. Able to kill monsters quickly. Some monsters are not good. Uh, heavy attack, regeneration, ambusher. So we need to get close enough to that guy to cause him some trouble. Use the range, range attack from over there, maybe? Let's go have a look. That's me, apparently, the Grey Walker. Developed quite the reputation going around killing all these people. Cothood says they saved a black captain from a grog stampede. I heard. Said he got mm. promised an elf for a slave. Quite, quite a few of them around. He's too much of a man to rub shoulders with a lot of well, I'll do the old. <laughs> right, time for combat. We will be together again, man thing, when the time is right. Nope, he's not getting away. Not having that. This does usually work that well for me. But I got him. Ah, fudge it. Somebody's sneaking around. Yeah. Die, 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 die. And finish. So that didn't go too bad. Usually when I start chasing after them, they get miles away and I just get into more and more trouble. Achievement unlocked. Paid in blood, thank you very much. So, 
that's just occurred to me what it is. That Vendetta mission is taking out people who have previously killed other gamers. Uh, yeah, Pyro Blade, it's just occurred to me, is a guy on my friends list who obviously got killed by that dude and um, in a bit of trouble here. And yeah, that's what I was saying. He was obviously killed by that dude and that's introduced the vendetta mission of killing somebody who's killed one of your friends. So like we had uh, Mick 10662 help me uh, when the vendetta now available. Uh, got vengeance on that dude earlier. This by the way is how you tame wild beasts and then can use them to attack other things. So yeah, another system you can do is attack beasts and people by jumping onto fellow beasts, taming them and then using them as kind of mounts. Pretty cool. an awful noise. Right, so we have another Vendetta mission available, so somebody else has been killed over here, let's have a look. Avenge the death of Elvin Blossom by killing Nakara, who's a Brawlmaster. Nakara Brawlmaster, that's his name. There he is. First things first. Branch these dudes around. No, you don't. Dismount. This dude's got some uh, info for me. Which now means. Who's the Brawl Master? Is he in here? Okay. Off the breaker. Well, most stuff finishes. Blah blah blah. Hates pain. <laughs> so, there's a, that vendetta mission. Whereabouts was it? Down here. Fast travel there and head straight down. Let's give another vendetta mission a go. That's quite good fun. So, yeah, as I was saying. I can concentrate more because there's nothing going off. The Vendetta missions are clearly you kill people who have killed other people on your uh, gamer list. Uh, friends list, shall I say. So that explains what Mick 1066-2 managed to do at the beginning and what I've just done there. So you're welcome, Pyroblade, if you're watching this video. Uh-oh. Um, um, that's a lot of people. So you might see somebody get promoted here. Plus, if I survive this, it would be a miracle. Two down at least. Let's see where they are. The combo system comes in handy. That's when you get strikes. It unlocks. Like, you can see the swords flaming, so I can execute people. These are perks you unlock, or perks you unlock as you go on, obviously. Double counter there. The execution. So the combat's quite fast paced and quite enjoyable. Uh, although you can take on countless people tons of people. It doesn't feel too easy. At the same time, it doesn't feel too overwhelming. Uh, it's quite easy to end up finding yourself in trouble, especially with a mix of different units that do different things. It kind of keeps you on your toes. 
as you can see, he can quite f easily find himself into a bit of trouble. But it's still quite manageable at times as well. And you do feel like a complete badass from the moment you start playing the game. Probably should have got some intel off him. Right, I need to find some health. That's obviously it doesn't regenerate super fast. There's never any grog about. Keep hearing we're getting deployed somewhere else, but we're Found my map. There's something around here. There we are. Right. And let's go do another vendetta mission, shall we? And maybe show you some of the uh, collectibles and stuff. There's a nearby start mission. Avenge the death of Elvin Blossom by killing Nakara Brawlmaster. The armor I'm wearing there is the pre-order. I believe the pre-order bonus. Or maybe it's just something that came in the game, I can't remember. Definitely a bonus that came not as a standard. I did pre-order this game, like I said. Oh, I'm being spotted. So we've got an archer up there. Stuff kill the target. So I've got to learn how to get Catagol in route without killing him. Come on, let's get it on higher now. ground here. Yeah, forget about it. You're never going to be Beastmaster with Dorthag. Best you can hope for is being the blacksmith's bellows pumper. Yeah, the orcs have quite a bit of a uh, banter between each other. It's quite interesting. It's good to hear them tell uh, tales and stories of the battles they've been in and the rumours and stuff that develop from you your reputation getting bigger from it all right another little feature here we can terrorise and distract people with stuff like this Bop. still have not found him, still not to be seen I'm guessing with him wanting me to do a staff kill I can hopefully get him from high up Dude, vulnerable to combat finishes. Vulnerable to something else. Uh, no, Nakara. Nakara. No, that's a different one. Sorry. God dang it. Oh, follow me. I did pick up the. Uh, I upgraded in from the last one I killed. Yes, weapons upgrade rooms. Let's see. Let's have a look what we got. We got Chill Soul level 6, 43% chance to recover 50% focus on a explosion head kill. Well not upgrade that one just yet, but I can upgrade a new skill from the look of it. So there's sorry, there's two of them in this area. Okay. You can can Rat Luke be killed by stealth kills? The Rat Luke. Yes. We're both vulnerable to stealth. Where are my targets? You know what? I'm sick of you going on about how tough you think you are. Too bad. I'm still tougher than you. <laughs> yeah, with the uh, the Wraith uh, skills that you have, you pretty much don't take any falling damage. Oh, that's cool. You jump from like 60 feet and kill a guy and feel completely awesome about it. Worst thing about the pigskins is the why they always have time. Lazy gloves. I had some on a road building detail. 
and they were starting to collapse after just 10 hours of heavy labor. Yeah, the human race seems to have been enslaved by the orcs in this. Which is a bit shitty. For me. I guess my job is to help free them all. Bring hope to the human race once again, or something like that. Well, conveniently enough, the rift, dude. Oops, I'm leaving the mission area. Forget for not paying attention. Whoa. Oh, was that him? Nah, claw. That's the man. Can deflect attacks, uh, vulnerable to stuff finishes. Found him. Not where he's Who cares about all glories? The next Shut enemy up. I face is dead already. He just doesn't know it. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Gets me in the mood for me. Oh, you guys are gonna have to get out of the way. <laughs> Although I didn't kill him. He's a tough bastard with a shield. This food looks dead. No shit, Sherlock. So he's a bit suspicious now because he's just seen this dead dude. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna come straight up towards. Where is he? Is he gonna go over there? It's attractive. Come on, over here. Nice scent. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. And you're dead. So that clears the way for me to move up to the next one. How do I get this? Stupid talks are afraid of the dark. Fear of burning. Oh, that was quite handy. I was going to shoot him and run away. Damn it. That goes my stealth kill anyway. The slaves escaping. Don't worry about the slaves. These two problems. Enemy is escaping. No shit. Can't tackle him. Come on. We fell over. Tackled. Uh, 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 and we'll shank him. Couldn't get him there for some reason. Usually he's standing on the down. So, and he's dead. So we didn't get the stealth kill bonus, but we did avenge somebody's death, which is always good. 16% chance for a 5% health on any kill. I think I've already got that one equipped. Uh, power plus 10. So it's not like the next here for power yet. But I believe we do have an upgrade. Equip. So let's go to the upgrades. We have one available point and one available, two available. So we have the option of throwing daggers or shoulder charge. 
Uh, I'll go for shoulder, 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 shoulder charge, I think. That's two Vendetta missions. Don't move. So that introduces a new mission which I didn't see before, and obviously you guys probably hadn't seen either. How many are the uh, cutting the lines, descending on the enemy camp? He cut off the Dark Lord's supply of new recruits on that day. Trainees learned only of death. Forged the legend of the Sword of Urfell, or whatever you pronounce that. I don't know. We'll do this mission over here. This is the thing which I was mentioning before kind of upgrades the uh, Sword's reputation, so adds extra goodness and power to your sword. It makes it stronger. Enter the training grounds, bonus objective 5. Melee execute Horrocks. Really? And all executions melee? Alright, we're in. You did. Me. And that's two down. One of five melee execution, so I don't know what I just did there. The but. That's two, so yeah, it's just your normal execution. Oops. Just kind of went into my bow and arrow mode there. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned, but now we do have limited what they call L shots, which if you look down on the map, the blue marker of the 7 is your uh, L shot, which you get back by doing cool stuff like draining orcs of their energy or something. I don't know exactly how it works, or what it's meant to be, but it works, should I say. And it's all just got a bit... Heavy there. Quite a few bad guys. Times of awesome combat. Let me try and concentrate, so forgive me if I go a bit quiet. I'm not doing too bad. The old double counter there. Off with your head, and that's the bonus man. Mix it up a bit, shall we? No, I'll get hit instead of performing that move I was just about to do. So, like I said, whenever you see the sword blows, it means it's time for next. I'm getting my ass kicked here. This is not good. A few melees went horribly wrong. Charge light shot thing there. Which is kind of like a wide range stun. It does actually kill people as well. Which is good. So when your health goes down, it is quite easy to find yourself in a bit of trouble. It doesn't come back instantly, and he's just set the alarm off. But that's good. Cut and exercise. Mission complete. The vendettas available. Lots of people are dying out there. So that's the area complete. Uh, if you just notice there. Go check out a jewel. We need to get out of the stronghold before we set an alarm off and I end up in a huge fight. Let's head for that. Uh, Jewel, I believe it was. So now you're getting a, a, a gist of the decent, uh, different units. I so say you've got, like I said, the heavies with the shields, which make things awkward as hell. Should have picked up another one of the survival things we need. Don't mind me, just running past. I'm not sneaking about, I just run straight past you. 
would be in the pissing stronghold, wouldn't it? Oh. No, we're not starting the story mission. Got someone to avoid spoilers where possible. Luckily, these not directly linked to the story mission. Aren't giving away too many spoilers, which is good. Our shadow will blot out all the light in the land and turn every start mission. Uruk's battle to the death to demonstrate their ferocity and to eliminate rivals. Whoever flees or dies is declared the loser, while the winner will increase in power. Invade the jewel, weaken Sauron's army. Kill them both, you're in? I don't think I've done one of these before. Gonna show my Uruk's how to properly get a glob. You're nothing compared to me, you idiotic worm! <laughs> Hey, on down. <laughs> Dual resolve. So, uh, probably, I don't know, I just killed one of them. Everyone's been promoted. How did you get promoted if I did the kill? A monk has been defeated to rather uncatchable in the duel. Has defeated, sorry. New battle reports. Let's have a look how that affected things. So he gets promoted and increased in power, which means it's going to be harder for me to kill him next time I see him. And that's it. Surprising, because usually you get quite a few people kind of move in and... And now I've got to fight this dude. I've been looking forward to this. Alright, I've got to get rid of the spear choppers first. Pain in the ass. Range attacks really do make things awkward. Uh, and someone just sounded the alarm. Ah, oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, that's him down as well. It's easy enough. I can't pick up the map bonuses. Oh no, it's not going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? Yep. Get some executions going. Stop getting stabbed. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I'm in trouble here. I mean, I can come back at any time and get my bonuses, but it's still just going to be just as awkward. So, this is going to be... troublesome. Andrew! Ah, oh, no! This bit, yeah, I'm in trouble. Okay, now this bit. Gives me like a second wind. I get rid of the spear throwers. See how the pain in the ass. Ah. Just trying to get my combat multiplier up so I can do it, but not looking promising, guys. Oh, should have gone into that fuel. <laughs> Just ask for control. Problem being is every time they set the alarm off, more of them are going to come to me in a stronghold. Ah, you got me. Ah, 
Fudge it, just kill me. Oh, Professor Old Boy. You die too easy. Hardly any fun. Rattle of the blood liquor. So he's gonna get promoted there. That sucks. <sighs> Damn it. How was his power increased? It wasn't even that. Oh man. And now there's gonna be new people coming as well, no doubt. What a twice? What a dick. So as you can see, it kind of has a really weird knock-on effect. And all these people just tend to move around, get more promoted, get more power. So you being killed by one person can affect quite a lot. And now the ranks are getting filled up again. Ah. Right. What are these towers of silver? They are lights to guide us in the land of shadow. Where all other lights Voice acting is quite good in this as well. Right, we Although they do that thing where they all do tend to sound a bit. Cock me again. Uh, have I lost that damn thing now? Where was I before? Up here? Possibly? Right, I was near a mission, wasn't I? So I was there. Fast travel there, in the hope that I can still pick up my bonuses. If I've lost them, I'll be well good. Memories of a lost kingdom. This hasn't really uh, happened before. Can I get them again? No, that's the rune I picked up previously. So I've still got to pick them up. Upgrades. Alright, we have enough here to upgrade the weapon so we can hold more runes. And I'll go for dagger. Yes. Why not? Add an extra rune to the dagger. Uh, dagger, sorry, the ball. Now, what have we got? All oh, weapon damage increased by 5% around a monster. Weapon damage 30 around a monster. Recover 34% focus for killing with the ball from stealth. Finish chance to recover 10% health on a headshot kill. Shadow Strike move, which I haven't unlocked yet, and I haven't unlocked yet, so we'll go for that one. Just like brown, rats and benzo. Oh, piss off. Get my spot point, you cheeky bugger. Pretty sure. We were near that. So if I head there. Hopefully, my powers are still there. They better be. Like I said, not the brightest of people, these orcs. So yeah, uh, like I said, not a bad game. Doesn't look too bad. There's some cool weather effects as well, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, on this crazy old clip, but every now and then it starts to piss it down, and that looks pretty cool. Yes, my upgrades are showing up on the map. That's good. So, we are at what? Nearly an hour? So, what I'll do is. Assuming I can get to my power upgrades, get the power upgrades, and then call it at that, because you've seen pretty much most of the gameplay now. Of. Uh, Shadow of Mordor. Uh, I should mention, like I said, this is a completely different story from Lord of the Rings, which is probably why it wasn't called Lord of the Rings. Shadow of Mordor as opposed to Middle Earth. 
The only reoccurring character from what I can figure out is Gollum. He does appear in the game. Which is cool. I'll clear this without setting off any alarms. What up, guys? Don't mind me. Let's get them out, Reds. I've also gotten one of the other perks is whenever I vault over something, I press A, it gives me like a, a temporary speed boost and why did I just stand on my geyser? I can mop it. Tell you what I'll do, I'll just fast travel. Not in combat, so that's not a problem. So, yes peeps, that was Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Not a bad looking game at all. Uh, so pretty much most of the features there of the game, or the main features. I believe I don't think there was uh, a great deal I missed out. Uh, you saw the basic combat, you saw the, there's different side missions. The side missions don't really play out that differently, to be honest. It's all a case of getting into combat. You obviously have some like this, which are based more around your archery, some more ranged attacks and stuff. Uh, usual hidden artifacts scattered all over and hidden symbols. Uh, again, just like uh, Assassin's Creed in that aspect. Uh, you find the hidden symbols, collect them, unlocks more of the story. Because uh, there is like a, a story of the wraith you with has amnesia, can't remember anything. Uh, so as time goes on, it unlocks more of his memories and you get closer to getting revenge on the person that killed your family. As you work together. So no doubt there will be twists and turns in the story and revelations and things. Uh, which I'm not going to go into because obviously spoilers and... I'm guessing you guys want to play this game yourself. A uh, really enjoyable game. Combat's really enjoyable. Story's pretty cool. Uh, game it's end looks fairly decent. And to be honest, this is the most fun I've had on a next gen console yet. Uh, really is right up my street, this type of game. Uh, quite interesting. Doesn't get repetitive or boring fairly quickly. I mean, what I'm. I'll be about 12 hours into it now. Uh, quite enjoying it. I uh, like the fact you can go between the two worlds, the Wraith and the human world. As time goes on you do unlock other things like the ability to control the minds of some of the Orcs and have them sneak into the ranks in here so you have like a, a double agent in there or a backstabber which I haven't managed to do yet. I haven't unlocked that yet and there's all sort of abilities like the ability to teleport directly to people using the Wraith powers and stuff, so there's plenty of options for upgrade and different ways to deal with stuff. Uh, you can unlock things like when sneaking into strongholds like I just did there rather than combating them directly, you can spike their alcohol so they all end up acting weird and dying and getting suspicious of each other and killing each other because I think people are trying to poison the, the grog, which is good fun. So plenty of different options to approach stuff. Uh, you can do stealth, you can go straight in and just attack outright, although you see that doesn't always fare well for you. And yeah, combat's really good, game looks good, really enjoyable, and so far I'm having a great time with it. So that was Shadow of Mordor, Middle Earth, or Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor on the Xbox One. Runs fairly well, if there's any problems, and like I said, I'm really enjoying it, so I want to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, and if you... Uh, want to check out the other content on the site we get stuff up there as often as we can and please feel free to join the crazy horse forum we have a great forum there for all you guys it's free to join so now i go over and check it out and say hello and i will catch you all in the next crazy horse video once again thank you for watching and goodbye